please subscribe. It was only last week when Opal took the wraps off the Crossland X and now our spies have caught on camera its bigger brother, the Grandland X it doesn't look significantly larger than the Merive replacing subcompact crossover and the reason why it has French license plates is because the new high riding vehicle was spotted testing at PSA's facility up in the north. It doesn't actually come as a big surprise seeing as how we already know the new crossover will have a lot in common with the second generation Peugeot 3008 introduced last year. It will inherit the PSA developed M2 platform and is actually expected to be built in France at PSA's factory in Sokoux. Details about the engines are not available at this point. But the Grandland X will probably get a mix of PSA and Opel engines sending power to the front axle or to all four wheels, depending on unit. Taking into account the IMP2 platform was engineered to accommodate a hybrid powertrain, perhaps the Grandland X will be electrified at some point in its life cycle. Opel's crossover onslaught is not going to stop after the Crossland X and Grandland X since a mid-size three-row model using the same platform as the new Insignia Grand Sport is due to arrive towards the end of the decade. With MPV sales declining, the GM-owned company is overhauling its lineup to better cater to the growing demand for crossovers and SUVs. Look for an official introduction of the Grandland X this September at the Frankfurt Motor Show, although an online reveal could occur several weeks earlier. Sales will kick off either by the year's end or early 2018. Meanwhile, the Crossland X will get its proper debut in March at the Geneva Motor Show and will reach dealerships shortly thereafter. Please subscribe.